Tolao Box is an educational idea. It's a box with materials, ideas to tinker, to discover, to experiment that comes directly into the family's homes and brings a whole world of educational discovery. So you delivered the first boxes in October 2012 and you just actually finished a seed funding campaign. It's a German platform. Uh, can you just describe the platform at itself and uh, its purpose? Okay, this is all about crowdfunding. So the platform is called Seedmatch because it ensures seed financing for innovative things who are about to start and can convince the crowd that this is going to become a big idea. That's basically it. They're based not in Berlin, but in Dresden. Uh, it's the first crowdfunding platform in Germany. And they have approached us, they have discovered us, saying you guys will rock the market because you combine two things. is innovative e-commerce, subscription-based e-commerce, that is now a huge trend in Germany and worldwide and you combine with it an educational idea. So the very special idea about this platform is really crowdfunding companies and ideas. It's not about crowdfunding some kind of campaign or a party or whatsoever. Not at all. It's about innovative companies that can become the next big thing. And that's what they are doing and that's what they are bringing over to a lot of people who are deceived by the banks and don't want to put their money to get some percentages at the bank, but want to put their money in innovative ideas that can really bring them also a certain revenue after a certain time. So for Tollerbox, uh, being on the market for less than half a year, what was the major decision to go down this road? The major decision to go down this road the was... the major reason for the The decision. reason. Okay, well, for us, it was the idea, we are innovative, let's go an innovative way, something new that we haven't tried before, but also to not give up too much control of our firm in this very early phase that we have and keep the entrepreneurial command of it. And this was our possibility and that's what we went for. So within four weeks you actually crowdfunded 600,000 euros, which isn't at all, it's more or less a loan, right? What yes. people give you, can you just explain how this entire process it's is? It's actually hard to explain because it's a lot of German rules in it, but basically people give us a loan and this loan is participating in our success. This success might be an exit and then they will get a lot of money or this success is our market success, our profit and this is what we share with them so that they get their money back and plus something that is related to the success of the company. Having said that, it's still risk capital and you have to be sure that if we're going bankrupt all those people will lose their money. And what has convinced them in this case was that we as founders at the beginning have put 300,000 euro already from our own money into the company so that they could be sure that we're not willing to lose our own money in order to get theirs. So how many people did actually loan you some money? It's exactly 599. So it's a thousand per person? It's, as an average, it is a thousand per person. Some of them have put only 250 euro and some of them have, have put the max, maximum of 10,000 euro in it. How would you describe this entire process? I mean, the information you really presented there was very, very detailed. It looked like even more than when you walk to a bank asking them for money. Uh, what was the procedure and how, why do you think it worked out so well? It's like a mini IPO. You have the whole duty to put the right data and to control it and to have it controlled by a controller in it. You have to be very precise. You have to put all your business plans, um, full amount of transparency into that thing. 
So that's what I say, it's like a mini IPO. You need to put a video in there and the video is very important for your success and um, you have to check it by to have checked it by everybody. Uh, reason for success? Um, it's hard to say what is the real reason for success. Personally, I'm convinced that still the idea and what Tola Box is has convinced the people. It is something you can really think about it as a huge market success because it needs it, it meets the needs of the people and it has a an idea of um, changing society in it. It's about education, it's about changing the learning culture, so the mix of economical potential and society changing potential is given. I think that this has convinced the people and the rest is argumentation. So we have worked on an argumentation and have tested on friends and acquaintances and people who know the market so that at the end it was very pure and condensed to what it was really about. Now you have 600,000 euros more in your pockets. Uh, in which way will you be controlled? How do you spend the money? Um, I assume you're not going First of all, you don't get all the money. Uh, that has to be sure because you pay to the platform also a fee and the controller costs money and there are a couple of fees so you can count in something like around 70,000 less. Um, w of course we are liable towards our investors, we call them also investors even they are just loan givers but it, it's perceived like an investor relation there. We need to give give them per um, each couple of months. We we give them a report, and um, they are allowed to ask questions. We have a whole channel when you are logged in in the platform. We have a whole channel when they can ask questions, and we answer it. And um, if you think it in terms of control, this is a kind of control. But I experienced that there's also a huge pool of good ideas. We have a lot of investors who are really thinking with us now, bringing us ideas, bringing us marketing solutions. We are using them also as a marketing tool. So they are very keen to tell everybody about their investment, which is great for us on the other side. So um, yes, it's, it's control, but it's also a huge participation. It's the crowd pool that wants to help us to become successful. Are you still in conversation with the people who gave you loan? Not with all 599, but a, a very big percentage of them are, well, they have connected with us via Facebook or Xing or LinkedIn and they ask questions. So we are kind of up to date. And there is also something that is going to happen. Uh, everybody who invested more than 2,500 euros will be invited to a dinner in our house. And I'm so much looking forward to have them here at the dinner table sitting and discussing ideas. Would you do it again? Definitely, yes. I would do it again. Was it a huge issue that you don't tell them that you build to exit or that you build, you know, to really build up? The company? No, this is not an issue. You need to put a very good business plan and I think that for crowdfunding it's even better to say the main goal is to build a sustainable company and we are not just going for the exit. If an exit will come and it will be the right move, we might decide to do it, but that's not the first purpose. And this is also something we have told them that our first purpose is to build a sustainable company that can run forever. 